I'm here with Paul Vunak, who's from California, and he teaches Jeet Kune Do and Kali there. Uh, Paul, could you tell us uh, how many years you've been studying the martial arts? Uh, I started when I was nine. I'm 26 now, so about 17 years. And uh, what styles exactly do you teach? Uh, right now, currently, I'm teaching Jeet Kune Do, which is it's a composite of different styles. It's uh, concepts and philosophies. And Kali, which is a broad spectrum of different styles, Panantukan, Panantjokman, uh, Sikaran, and uh, Savat is another style that I teach. Um, who, was, who was your first instructor? My very first instructor was uh, a guy named Al, and this was at Tracy's Karate School back uh, some 17 years ago. So you started when you were fairly young then? Yeah, I was nine years old when I started in this. Okay, now I know that uh, Jeet Kune Do is based on a style that uh, Bruce Lee brought to us here in the United States. Could you uh, tell me a little bit about that? Well, um, it started out as Wing Chun, which is uh, a little bit more traditional of an art. It's a close quarter fighting art. And then what Bruce did was he modified it as he came to America. He found that the, the morphology of the individuals in America is a lot larger. So uh, he adapted his style to that. So he added more kicking, a little bit more head butting, a little bit more elbowing. Made it a little bit more vicious, I would say. Now, uh, we know that, uh, or at least I think that his premier student was Dan Inosanto. Yes, yes. Dan's been with uh, Bruce for nine years, and they were they were very close. Yes. And and Dan is also your instructor. Yes, I started with Dan in uh, 1976, and I'm still with Dan now. Okay, and he is what I guess we would consider the premier JKD instructor in the U.S. Yes, yes, he is. Dan um, Dan's got more information on Jeet Kune Do than anyone. He's he was well, with Bruce throughout his whole. Um, change of, of structure from Wing Chun, then we called it Jun Fan, and then it turned to Jeet Kune Do. The word Jeet Kune Do means way of intercepting the hand and fist, and um, that was sort of a blend of what Dan and Bruce came up with over the years. What does Kali mean? Kali is, a, is an ancient art from the Philippines, and um, it actually comes from the word Kalis, which is the knife, and it, or the blade, and Kali is mainly a blade art. It's the, not the modern terminology like Arnis or Scream is more modern. Can you also combine uh, Wing Chun, which is uh, another base style that, that Bruce Lee studied, in with these two arts, and you call it progressive fighting systems. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, Progressive Fighting Systems is my corporation. This is basically a, a group of guys that I got together over the years, and um, we just came up with the name Progressive Fighting Systems. The arts that we teach are Jeet Kune Do and Kali, and, and Wing Chun is, is a modified version of Ming, Wing Chun. Bruce Lee changed it quite a bit. Okay, we're going to see a little double stick work now, uh, and you can give us a little background on that. Yes, definitely. I'll be playing the congas, and my students will be doing Sinawali drills. Okay, and lastly, is the music integral? Is the conga part of the martial art in this case? Yeah, Kali uses the conga a lot. When you hit the conga, you'll hear an accent, and usually the subconscious reacts to that accent in a certain way, and it gets you to move, breaks the rhythm up a little bit, so you're not redundant in your movements. Okay, what we're going to do now is a little bit of double stick training. We call this Sinawali, and this is developed coordination of both right and left hand. Okay, you guys ready? Hello? Can you teach uh, Jeet Kune Do to someone in just one weekend seminar? Trying to teach Jeet Kune Do in a weekend seminar is like trying to teach uh, Spanish in a weekend. It's, it's very difficult. What you can do is you can give concepts, you can give um, the philosophies of Jeet Kune Do, and then they can take whatever art they currently study and use it to help that art. So that's more what we do. Okay. That sounds like a, a difficult process, but certainly the weekend seminar is uh, one way to come in contact with the art here on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, that's how we're trying to promote it. We're 
traveling around a lot and trying to get uh, seminars going as much as possible. And when we do do seminars, the whole concept of doing seminars is not to indoctrinate our style to another individual, but more or less just change certain structures that we feel are structural flaws, like putting the hand on the hip as opposed to keeping the hand up. All right, what we call this is uh, Spade Dago, which is long and short, and this drills mainly for line familiarization. You'll just see one side feeding here. Okay, you guys ready? Salute. Now, in, in training, what we've seen of uh, Jeet Kune Do, we, we might think that uh, if we see Bruce Lee's movies, we might be able to find out more about Jeet Kune Do. Is that possible? Not really. Um, there's a difference between theatrical and functional Jeet Kune Do. I'd like to differentiate that. Theatrical Jeet Kune Do has a lot of high kicking, basically everything you saw in Bruce's movies. He did a lot of high kicks, a lot of spin kicks. He wanted to flash it up for the audience. Uh, functional Jeet Kune Do is very basic. It involves uh, more attribute training, speed, power, timing, coordination, spatial relationship, line familiarization. These are the things that are important as a fighter, and it's very basic stuff. It wouldn't come off too good in the camera. Uh, a, a, a straight blast and a headbutt wouldn't look good, but a spin kick does. So that's more theatrical JKD. Okay, now for my ed education, the, the martial arts that we did see Bruce Lee do in some of his films were actually Jeet Kune Do at that time, or was that a more a later development in his life? Well, uh, when Bruce did Fist of Fury, actually, I believe that would have been considered Jun Fan because uh, of the time of his progression. But um, nothing that you will see in a movie is Jeet Kune Do. It's just theatrical. So he, he used his concepts of Jeet Kune Do and put them into the movies by flashing it up a little bit. 